Hi, Shout Iris here. I'm a choreographer and dancer. And today I'm going to be reacting to Baby Metal Megitsu. Um, thank you, Axwipe, for helping me navigate on Baby Metal Reactor Resource. Um, I have Anubis with me because I want him to listen to Baby Metal before he enters his two week shedding stage where he just doesn't talk to me. Ready? Okay. Here we go. Hang on. So intense. That was amazing. I've just done some formation here. Hang on a second. Anubis, if you're going to distract me and you're not actually going to listen to baby metal, you Go back inside your vivarium. Pay attention, darling. Okay. So here is some formation, which is like a starting position. Um, nice and clean. It's always nice when the different members do like a different standing point in formation. Isn't it? What do you think? Baby metal. Where's the sound gone though? Do you know what I, yeah, I think if I see them do this again, then I think I'm correct. But some dancers and non-dancers have this thing in choreography where they use the same sequence of dance in every single song. And Baby Metal have done this thing where they kind of jump up with like one knee and they, they, they bounce and they jump and they bounce and they jump. I've seen them do this in every song I've react to, and this is a technique in choreography that helps orchestrate rhythm. So if the sound is too too loud for them and they're trying to find the beat, they're trying to get themselves in the rhythm of the choreography, there's like a go-to thing. Every every dancer will have like a go-to piece that can get them back in the rhythm. So if ever baby metal feel like they can't get back into the flow of the choreography or the, the, they can't hear on their earpiece because you know you know how the crowds sound at these kind of concerts you know the, it's easy for them to find that rhythm if they do a specific dance move and I feel like Mikiko has done this on purpose because this is what I would do as a street street choreographer um you've got to enable your dancers to get back into the fluidity of the rhythm, especially when you, you move them off beat or you get them to do dances off sequence or anything like that. And if Baby Metal do this again, this is definitely a technique. This isn't choreography. It's a technique to get the bounce, get them into the bounce.
they're dancing to. There's a soft drum in the back. Oops. Um, there's a soft drum in the back um, that I feel like they're hitting. Basically, what the choreographer has done is um, generated their own beat count. You can hear yourself. It, it's not in. It's not in the song, but you can give yourself a, a beat count. Be like, okay, one, two, three, four. It's almost putting a metronome next to the song. Hang on. So it's a two by two beat count that they're dancing to. So it's very quick. So it's very one, two, 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 one, two. And that's why I love rock music so much and like dancing to rock music. I don't know why choreographers don't do it more, to be honest, because you can generate your own beat count. You don't have to follow production beat. Um, you can just make up a beat count and dance to it. So it gives you the freedom, like, Baby metal could slow down, they could speed up, and it would all make sense because there isn't anything that they're going by. So you see, you hear the beat when you see how they're dancing, if that makes sense. Hang on. No way. <laughs> They're not dancing to Screamo. This, they just, they do the impossible. I actually loved that dance break because it's to me I could be looking too much into it but there's there's a little bit of artistry that goes with baby metal because you're you're putting metal and you know something cute kawaii together to it's two two opposing things that shouldn't really make sense together but they work and right there, you saw like contemporary dance with screamo music. Like they were being really slow, contemporary. They almost looked like, you know how you get, baby, you know how you get the um, ballerinas in the um, music boxes and they're so elegant and graceful. It was that choreography, the really intense screamo kind of solo part, merged together. That was really clever choreography. Yes, it was. You're missing so much in here. See, I feel like they're getting back into the bounce of things, especially with that, that sequence where it's slowed down a bit. They're just finding the rhythm again. I definitely think the choreographer's done that on purpose, created something to help them get back in the flow.
See, the way the drums are playing, you can generate a beat count. That I, I like the way uh, Mikiko has kept it simple. Like, I feel like it requires a lot of energy to do what they do. I've said before, but they, they bounce. They have a consistent bounce. So they don't stop when they're dancing. They keep going, keep going. So you don't want to take away too much of that energy, especially for Sue Metal, because she's the one singing. Um, but the way that, dr um, that the drums were going in that kind of beat count, it's a very, I actually can't do it now because he's constricting me. Anubis, please, mommy's working. Okay. Right. He's, he's on his, he's going to start shedding soon. So he, he'll become really antisocial. That's why he's having fun now. Um, so it's very, to work with the drum, you'd go really, really fast and you'd hit all these beats. And this in itself, it might not seem a lot, but it's actually taking a lot of my energy. And imagine like the whole body kind of, we call it jerking in dancing. So alongside those drums, you would be jerking if you wanted to hit those drums as though they were the beat. Now to me, the way that I've seen baby metal, it wouldn't make sense. Like they need that slower pace. That song was intense. Oh my god. What is it about, by the way? Um Yeah. I'm not gonna subtitle it. I'm going to ask you what is that song about? Alright, Anubis, did you like Baby Metal? We're gonna go now. Once again, I'm so grateful for Baby Metal Reactor Resource. So soul destroying when you go through a whole reaction and then YouTube blocks it. Um, so yes, subscribe if you haven't, and we will see you on the next video. Have a good evening, everyone.